Just like him, just sub him, it's Yahya Cham 21 What's up YouTubers, today's Yahya Cham 21 I am back with another video, how are we all doing today? I hope everyone is doing well Today I am actually not vlogging the place, today Driver King will be because he wants to do it so badly And I was not going to vlog this week because I'm just trying to relax for this week And it's a hot day so I was just hanging out with my friends but yeah, so I uh, left Driver King to it and he's vlogging Ben Path, so I'll leave the rest to him and I'll get you later guys. What's up YouTubers, today is Yahya Champ 21 and I'm back with another video. I hope you're having a good day so far. If not, then I hope this video makes it better because today we'll be vlogging at Ben Path, which is a hamlet in Dumfries and Galway, also known as Dumfriesshire. And Ben Path also is called the Benton by the locals. Don't know why that's probably case for a local barn that's nearby. And because we're in Dumfries and Galway, we've got a lot of good views here, like the one behind me. So let's get into the video then. So I got the bus here and it was run by Andersons of Langham and I got the bus from Langham. I did a Langham vlog previously, link in the top right hand side to your screen right now. And it was literally just a van, it wasn't even your average bus. And uh, there was no stop buttons or anything, but um, thankfully the driver was very nice and uh, knew that I wanted off at Ben Path. Anyway, so we're rocking to our first place, and it is the Thomas Telford Memorial. Now, I don't know if you can see the writing here, but you can pause the video to get a closer look. And uh, this is to celebrate the life of Thomas Telford who built loads of bridges and roads in Scotland, especially the Thomas Telford Bridge in Langham, which I vlogged. And he used to walk for a, have to walk for quite a few miles to get to school every day through country roads, and it wasn't very safe. And behind that, we've got the Wester Kirk Parish Library. I uh, can't actually get in because there's a closed gate in the way, and it's only opened on the first Monday of each month. Whereas today is the 15th of April. But I'm going to show you as much as I can. Don't know if you can see the information there, but if you can, you can pause the video for a closer look. And I'll just show you around it. And that's what it looks like from the side. I can't actually go in here, but because I think this is someone's property. And right next to it, we've got the old school. Um, because there's a car here, I think it's someone's property now, but it used to be Ben Path Primary School until loads of schools in the area closed because there wasn't many pupils going to them. But I'm not 100% sure if this is someone's property now, but I'm not going to risk it, so we're going to move on to the next place. And here we have the Westerkirk Parish Church and it opened in 1880 it says above the doorway up there and we've got some information yeah, I'll wait for the camera to focus on it there we are don't know if you can read it but if you want to read it, then good luck, you can pause the video. And over here a bit, we have a memorial of what I think is for, from the First World Wars, it's 1914 to 1918. And then you've got some names here as well. Unfortunately, I can't get into the church because all the gates are locked. And as you can probably tell, because it's not a Sunday, we won't be letting anyone in. So let's move on to the next place then. So this is not even a minute walk from the church and I didn't see this place when looking up in my notes but it looks like a bench in memory of someone. There we are. And uh, it looks like it was built pretty neatly but a bit expensive but I suppose it adds a nice touch to the hamlet. It 
best is we is cottage and uh, it's just a wee cottage that you can probably hire if you're like going on holiday or something like that looks like a nice wee place to come especially to some of its extremely quiet scenic and you get loads of wildlife and animals around here so this looks to be the Ben Path Hall again I didn't see this when doing my research but we've also got a death bill later if that's how you pronounce it which is good in the emergency I guess but here's some information if you want to pause the video to take a closer look and yeah moving on I think I know why the locals call Ben Path Benton because down there is the Bent Barn Honestly, I don't know who came up with that name. So it looks like we have a forest here run by Tell Hill Forestry. And uh, we have some mad track. Don't know what it is with that uh, pole. If I don't know what's on the top. But if you happen to know what these pole things are, then make sure to let me know in the comments. We seem to have a peasant in front of us. Don't know what type of person it is and don't know what to do with it, but I think I'll just stay clear of it. I think I'm just walking about for no reason now. Uh, trying to look for other things to vlog. And I've got about an hour and a bit to wait on my bus coming back. Here we have a graveyard, which I found which is about a five minute walk from the church. And it looks to be very empty. So there you go. If you ever wish to bury someone, then come here to Ben Path. There's tons of space. And of course, there is a gate in the way, so I cannot get into this place. Either someone doesn't know how to build this fence, or someone doesn't know how to drive and drove into this fence. It's all falling over. Here we have another graveyard. Again, can't go in. It's just a gate in the way. But why is everywhere got a gate in the way so I can't access it, even though I think half the place is meant to be for the public? I mean, it might just be closed because it's Good Friday. You know, Friday the 15th of April. I don't know. Tell me what you think in the comments. Commonwealth War Grave, so this graveyard must be full of people who fought in the war, I guess. I'm starting to get a bit hungry, so uh, I think I'll eat my caramel wafer bar that I've brought with me now. So, what do I think about Ben Path? Well, I think the place is very scenic and picturesque, and it is also very quiet as well, and you've got a lot of animals, mainly sheep fits behind me. And you've got some pheasants here as well. And it's it's very nice, it's very quiet. I think you'd be better off coming here if you want to go somewhere for a wee holiday. I don't think it's good for a day out. There's not an awful lot to do here in terms of activities and that. You'd probably get bored very easily. But I think it's very nice. It's in the middle of a valley. It's actually quite warm here, you're not getting much wind. But anyways, that's the end of the video. Thank you very much for watching. And like the video if you did like it. And if you've got something to say about the video, then leave a comment as well. And make sure to subscribe to Yahya Champ 21 in the meantime. So thank you very much for watching. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye. Just like him, just sub him. It's Yahya Champ 21.